All right, so last time we were actually able to get this toolbar done in our profile, so it's starting to look pretty good. It's starting to look like Instagram. Now we're gonna start working on the center part. And uh, because there's so many parts to this center part, I'm gonna build it in little pieces. So this, uh, this piece right here, if I, could, if I could highlight it, I'll take a snapshot of it. So this piece right here is the one I'm gonna build. Just this little piece right here, because there's actually a lot of parts here. You got six text views and then a, actually you have seven text views total here and they're all gonna be kind of aligned with each other perfectly so I'm gonna build this little piece right here so let's get rid of that um, we'll start in profile activity and uncomment that and let's actually add the bottom navigation bar in first of all so do include layout and bottom navigation view and then just close that and let's run that just to make sure that it's working properly and go to the profile and there we go we have our bottom navigation still still working the way it should be it gets that special toolbar on the profile and all the other activities are still, are still working so cool that's good now let's build that little piece that I was talking about so we'll go to create a new file new layout file and this one I'm gonna call snippet so I'm gonna keep that sort of snippet convention for all the little pieces that are contained in a layout and I'm gonna call it uh, snippet top profile and let's go to, let's just go to any one of these layouts because I just want to grab these merge tags. I don't want to type them out. So I'm just going to copy all that and paste it in here and then delete everything in the center just so we have the, the merge ready to go. And inside here, I'm going to create a constraint layout. And you might be wondering why I'm doing that. It'll be clear in a second here because this layout's actually going to be pretty tricky to make, but it'll be, it'll be much easier uh, using a constraint layout. So I'll do match parent and then height and do match parent and we'll do maybe a margin on the top for ADP. And so now I have this constraint layout. Now I'm going to go into the design tab and actually build this. So if any of you uh, want more information about constraint layouts, I actually did a YouTube, I did a video on one. Uh, let's just check out the old channel here. I believe it was a beginner one. straight layouts there you go yeah I built a Twitter layout so if you're interested check that one out and I actually build a much more detailed layout but this will be this will be a good video regardless so we'll drag this first uh, text view in here and then we need to do one underneath and we'll need one in the middle and another one underneath that one and if, if any of you haven't done this uh, on Android yet it's pretty cool because straight layouts are pretty great Let's just stick that in there, and well, we need one more. Oops. Take a little bit of getting used to, like the constraints sometimes let go, so you gotta make sure that they're all good. And then this one's gonna be the one that holds the update profile. So we have seven total text views here. So this one, we can go over here, we can set some properties. This one I'm gonna call text view posts, because if we look at Instagram, this one's uh, got called posts. And then this one down here, I'm gonna call text posts. So this one's text view posts. And then if I go down to this one, this one's gonna be text posts. And I'm gonna follow that convention kind of with all of these. This will be TV posts, then text posts. And then, uh, you know, this one will be TV followers, text followers, TV following, text following. So just to keep a consistent convention. And we can actually set the, the text. Oh, my Android studio is freezing here. Or did I not click on it? Yeah, there we go. So uh, we can set this to, I'm just gonna set it to some uh, random number for now. Obviously when we actually build the app, it's gonna be dynamic. And we'll do the text size, wherever that is. Text size, 18 SP should be good. And text color, and just click on this little button here. Go to color and click on black. I'm gonna make it black so that looks good. And then click on this one right here. It's called text posts. And so this text, I'm just gonna say posts. And this text size is gonna be quite a bit smaller. I think maybe 14, no, let's do, let's do 12, 12 looks good. And that, that text color is actually the one that is likely that the right one. So, so far I haven't added any constraints or anything yet. I'm just kind of formatting the text views. And so now we're going to this one. We'll do uh, follow, I think this is followers and 
I'll just do, is it followers? Yeah, it's followers. So let's do 300 and once again, 18 SP for the size and select the color here, same thing. Cool, nice and easy. Now I'm gonna go to the one below and go text followers and type followers and this will be 12 SP. Select, actually the color's fine. So that's good. Now we'll do the last one. Text view following and some random number to 400. And that will be 18 SP. Choose the color black. And then we need to do text following. Just type following. Change the size to 12 SP. Cool. Uh, last one down here, this one's just gonna be, uh, there we go, I don't know, that was weird, it was, wasn't letting me type anything. So we'll call this one text edit profile. And this one, just say edit your profile. And it'll be maybe 14, uh, let's go 12, ah, 14. And it's gonna be black, so let's change the color. There we go. This one we're gonna have to adjust later, but I'm just gonna leave it for now. So now, now we need to actually apply some constraints to these because right now they're just kind of floating around in nothing, and they're yeah they're they're not constrained. So what we do is let's just bring this in a little bit so that you can actually see what's going on here. Let's actually get this way out of the way. Bring that one down. Bring that one down. Okay, so so what you what you want to do is you want to start from the middle, and I can first of all just attach that to the top by clicking on these things. So you just you click and drag. So you 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 always want to start with the middle, and you want to attach the middle one to whatever ones are on the side. Like I don't want to take the side one and attach it to the middle. I want to take the middle one and attach it to the side. And the same with this one right here. That's what you because you don't want to have the sides attached to the middle. It, it gets weird and the constraints can come off sometimes. So just do it this way. And then you can take the ones on the sides and we can attach to the top, to the top, to the side. Take this one, go to the side. So now these are all bound. The only thing is this, this one doesn't have anything bound to the bottom. So now we're gonna do the same thing with this row. We will take um, this one, attach it to the top, take the side, attach to the side, take the side, attach to the side. So now you've done pretty much the exact same thing with this, because these are these are kind of going to be all in line. Now we want to grab these side ones, but let's let's actually attach it to there, and attach that one to the top of there. So now these are all bound. We just need to attach that to the side, and attach that one to the side. Cool. That is looking good so far. Um, now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go from the bottom up. So take this, attach it to there. And now do the same thing with this guy. Attach to the side, attach to the side, and attach to the bottom. So now everything everything should be bound. But you always want to check with these because, like I said, sometimes they can come unbound. I'm just going to move this over to make sure. That, that looks good. Because remember, you want to go from the, t from the bottom up. So this is bound up, which is good. Take a look at this. This one is... Uh, bound the way it should be, that's good. And this one is also bound the exact same way. So that's good too. So this first row is good. Now let's check the middle row. So we'll start over here. We have the same thing, it's bound upwards, that's good. And this one's also bound upwards and to the side since it's in the middle. And this one right here is bound to the sides. So that's good. And now this one, and that one's all good. So everything looks good here. I've clicked on all of them, I've moved them around. Nothing's come unbound. So um, everything looks good at this point. So you might be thinking, okay, so let's just do it like this. We'll, we'll have a margin here, we'll have a margin here, and uh, that's good, we're done, right? Like that looks, well, I mean, you'd move, you'd move this up here, but, but generally, like, you'd, at first glance, you'd probably think that this, damn it, this was good. Leave that there. Nope. let down but you actually yeah so you look at that and you'd be like okay that's pretty good but 
actually this will uh, get screwed up with different screen sizes because we have these margins because if we have like a really really small screen all this is going to get crammed into the middle and so you have something that looks pretty stupid so what you have to do is get rid of this you can't have margins on the edges this in the dead center is good this in the dead center is good but these have to be they have to be up here with no margin on the top and no margin on the side or else it will get screwed up so we have to stick those right up into the corner and same with this one and we can put that up top and that that will probably be good but we can double actually we can have a we can have a small margin very small but nothing too big or else um, if there's a small screen it's just gonna get all crammed into the center and you can if, if it's not doing what you want to when you drag it you can always I'll well, see those things all over the damn place it, you can always uh, go over here if you, if you select it you can then change uh, the boundary here so I'm gonna change this to 8 and this one already has a 7 that's pretty good I could change it to 8 and let's move this over there we go so generally that looks pretty good I think because if you have a small margin that's okay it's not going to get crammed into the center now we just need to move this thing up and we need to make this a little bigger because if you look at Instagram so if we look at Instagram this kind of has a border on the outside of it so we need to create that border so we need to uh, make this a little bigger we're gonna have to do a little bit of trial error and take a look at what it looks like uh, in in uh, when we test it but let's just leave it here for now we need to also need to tech, uh, center that text so let's go over to the text tab and we'll click on this and we need to go uh, center no, text alignment sorry and do center okay and we'll need a background we need a, we need a black a black outline so we're only going to need to go into create a new drawable file but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight this copy it paste and I'll do just black border, black border, and change these all to positive one, and this color to black, inside is white, that's fine. So then we have a black border, we'll go back to snippet top profile, and then we can set the background here. So at drawable black border. Cool. So Oh, it's actually not black, it's gray. We need a gray border. Uh, all right, I'm just gonna copy that, paste it, and change it to gray border, and then change this to gray. Go back to here, gray border, there we go. So that looks pretty similar. Um, keep in mind that when we, when we actually add this to a layout, these are gonna get squished in, like I said. So this might be okay, we're gonna leave this like it is for now and we can make adjustments later when we test it on different screen sizes so that is going to be it and wow this video was long I told you this uh, this layout is not easy to build so all we've built is this one little piece right here and we still have the rest of it so there's there's still quite a bit to go but we have uh, one of the more difficult pieces done for sure so uh, yeah I will see you guys in the next video and we'll carry on building this profile